Okay, this is a basic tutorial on how to use Easy Train with Arnold. So let's start with with a general overview of how Easy Train works and some of these buttons. So first, you need to add a train surface, which I'm going to add. You can also create a set of train surfaces, uh, something like a tile. Just select the uh, surface that you want, right click, and here you can choose a set of tile for example something like this and now what we need to do is add our train into these train surfaces so we can select all of these and press this plus button the blue one is going to add a train and now we can see that it now added a new handle for each train you can select it move it around you can scale it like this and this and these trains uh, can get uh, mixed and blend in different ways. Uh, so for example, if you check out the channel box, you can see that we have a blending mode. I can set it to add, and it is going to add, or I can set it to over, or uh, lighten, which is the default one. And let's undo. Uh, you can change this train texture by selecting one of these trains, opening one of the libraries. For example, here is the world library, and here is some of the generated trains. And you can just click on a, one of these, and it will change the train shape. Okay. But for the, if you want to use the world map, which is what I want to do now, you shouldn't really move these uh, trains or scale them. Just keep them where they are. Now select these trains in order. Uh, because uh, when I first created these train handles, I selected these objects in order like this. All of these uh, items are created in the right order. I can just select them from top. Now if I open the world map library, uh, let's go to Arizona, for example, and let's add this. You can see that they are placed correctly, but they are uh, somewhat have this weird line over here. Uh, just flip it in the direction and it is going to look correct. Now let's select these, add some division or maybe I'll ultra. And it is going to look like this. Okay. You can at any time you can just select these trains uh, on the world map library and assign another texture like this or well, let's check this these parts right now let's do a quick render i'm going to use a uh, physical sky and let me use Arnold render view. You can also just uh, look through the viewport, but uh, because uh, when I enable Arnold render view, we can no longer see uh, these train handles. I'm going to just keep them side by side. So here I'm going to render. And it is going to render like this, it is going to look completely black. And why is that? Uh, it is because if we enable texture view, you can see that there is no texture, it is looking black even in viewport. So how can we fix that? We can add a new texture. Uh, this green plus button is going to add a texture layer. So let's press it and you can see that we now have a texture and it is going to look correct in Arnold. Uh, I'm going to just increase the light a little bit. Something like this. And now we can continue adding these uh, textures. So first of all, if you want to change this texture or change its color, just select the handle, go into its output, you can, uh, and here, uh, you can see the file mode and here you can change the texture or you can just leave it as it is and change its color. So let's make it brighter or if you want to, you can just change it to any color. I'm going to just make it a little bit darker 
let's add another texture layer like this and let's make this one uh, even darker like this okay and now we can mask uh, this texture using these train data so for example we can mask it based on height or flow map so if i select one of these train handles while i keep this uh, texture selected as well i can right click on this mask button and here we have a few options we have all alpha mask this is used if uh, your train has alpha uh, it is going to mask it based on that this directional is can be used for things like a snow or moss over the surface uh, and it's, uh, it is not supported by Arnold but uh, I guess it can be used in V-Ray or if you want to just bake the maps and use them somewhere else you can use it we can mask based on height map or flow map so I'm going to choose height map and you can see that it applied only to this one you can select multiple train surfaces if you want so let's select all of these train handles and mask them based on height and as you can see it didn't work it just applied it to one of the trains again and that is because if you want to mask it based on these world maps uh, because they are tile and it needs some extra processing we have a different thing here which is world map height and world map flow so we are going to use this one and you can see that it now uh, masks it properly now let's close this now it all look good but we need to define the area of the height that we want this uh, texture to get applied and to do that just select the texture layer and just left click on this mask button and it is going to bring this up and with this you can define the mask area i'm going to just pause this and maximize the viewport so you can see it better so let's mask it like this now let's add another texture layer and maybe make this one a little bit brown okay again i'm going to mask it based on the height select all of these right click old map height and now click on the mask button and we can define the mask area yeah maybe it's something like this Okay, and now let's add uh, another texture and this time mask it based on flow map so you can see how that works as well. Let's change the color to something like blue or green or something. Yeah, let's keep it that like that. Select the train uh, handles while you have the texture layer selected. Right click and this time bolt map flow. It is going to look like this. Let's select the mask. And I think it is much better visible through here. So you can see that we can now mask this based on the flow map. All right. Let's take a look at Arnold as well. It looks something like this. I think the sun direction isn't really that great. Can see better here. Okay, uh, let's add another uh, texture layer. Uh, by the way, if you want to, let me just show it. We can just keep working with Arnold view, and this one. This is our texture. It doesn't have any uh, mask at the moment so it looks like this I'm going to 
just keep it the same color. Select the train handles, right click, world flow. It is going to apply the mask. The train handle, uh, the texture handle is already selected, so I'm going to just click on the mask. And it is going to bring this ramp for me. We can invert it. Like this. And this time I'm going to just apply it over these, uh, the top of these uh, areas. It is going to, uh, you can see better here. See, something like this. Let's select the texture layer. Uh, let's see how it looks like. We make it darker. You can see how fast it just updates and you can create all sorts of cool effects. And one amazing thing is that right now, if I select these train handles, notice that I select these in order. And let's change the train texture. You can see that the texture will also get applied and everything will look exactly as it should. See? And let me actually choose something from another region. It is going to take a Maybe a second to get updated, but after it loads the texture, everything will look fine. Okay, so let's uh, continue uh, with this. Okay. Uh, of course, you can change the height of this train by just uh, changing the scale of these train handles. Maybe five. Uh, because we set the detail of this subdivision quality into ultra, it is going to take a little bit longer to uh, update the changes that to make to these train handles. Uh, so if you want to do a lot of blending and changing these train handles, I recommend that you first switch to lower subdivision level and then we can just switch it back to ultra. All right, so let's continue our texturing. Let, I'm going to add another texture layer. Uh, by the way, there is a limit and how many texture layer you can use in Arnold. I, I remember that it used to have that. And if you experience it, that it just, you just add a one or two, three uh, texture layers and it doesn't, it, and it no longer show the masking and the texture correctly, uh, just update your Arnold and it is going to uh, support the texture layer better. And I think if you're using V-Ray, there is no limit, uh, or at least the number is very high. So I didn't, see any issue and right now with the newest version of Arnold I also didn't notice any issue because I'm currently working and as you can see even after I'm adding these uh, different masks and textures everything is rendered correctly all right so let's add another uh, texture based on height yeah or actually let's flip it and put it down here it's not really visible so i'm trying to change it so you can see what i'm trying to explain so yeah let's say that it is something like this and as you can see we can no longer see the flow map in this area because this layer is on top of all other ones okay so Let's say that I want my flow map. Let's first find it. I think it's this one. Uh, I want to switch the play order of these two layers. So I want this one to come down and this one to get applied on top of all other layers. Uh, switching that is quite easy. All you need to do is select these two layers and then use this button. It is going to switch their order. And as you can see, the flow map is now on top. And I'm going to change this as well. So they are again in the right order. This is our height mask and this is our flow map. 
right? Yeah, uh, and that is pretty much all the basics of Easy Train. You can just keep working like that, and the rendering is also is working correctly without any issue. Now, uh, by default, Easy Train uses Lambert, which is going to get rendered with pretty much all render engines. If you want to use Arnold shaders or using Vray or Redshift, and you want to use those shaders, uh, that is going to be quite easy as well. Let's open Node Editor. Select your material, material of these trains over here. You can look into this to its notes. Here is our color texture. Now all I need to do is assign a new standard material, Arnold standard. And let's just assign this color texture into Arnold shader. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind is that right now I'm using Arnold CPU. If I change it to GPU, it is not going to show the texture because it is not supported. All right, so that is pretty much it. In the next video, I will show you how you can bake the strain into textures so you can take it into game engines like Unreal uh, or just use it in any other software that you want.